Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and uh, I'm here to talk about um, NASCAR news, uh, all that happened, all the penalties um, from what happened Sunday night at Richmond. Been waiting for this, so I can finally drop this video. Um, but yeah, we're going to go over all the penalties, just break down everything. So we've been waiting for this for a few days. Well, Monday and well Tuesday, and it didn't happen. But we finally got the news day at approximately 3:58 p.m. According to Bob Parker's, NASCAR revokes Austin Dillon's automatic playoff berth for the Richmond win. He gets to keep the win, so he guess he keeps the trophy, but he can't use this win to earn the playoff spot. Absolutely wild. I really didn't think NASCAR would do this. I thought, I was just thinking, all they're going to do is give Joe Lugano a $50,000 fine, you know, for what happened on pit road after the race, and give Austin Dillon maybe a fine or a one race suspension. I didn't think they would actually revoke his automatic playoff burst for winning Richmond. Just freaking wild. And yeah, there was a penalty for Lugano. We'll get into that later. I was hoping for them to just strip the win, but they don't. But that's not in the rule book, so they really couldn't do that. But I guess it's a close second. I think this is. I guess this is a good precedent, like you can, that you keep the win, but not the benefits. But you don't get uh, to get in the playoffs. And I know people will be like. Oh yeah, but Joey's wrecked a lot of people. Denny has. Well, not to that extent. I don't like those two. You know, they've wrecked people. But not to that extent. Just seen it from three, four car lengths back and wreck. Wreck the leader and then wreck the third place car that's going by for the lead and you right hook them. So, maybe that's precedent. Maybe it's good precedent said that if you do that, who knows what other race. You're, you're going to get penalized for that. If he is, does win before the playoffs start, like in these next few races, yeah, he would use that win as a, as a playoff spot. If he doesn't bulldoze half the field. But if he's doing this at Richmond, worries me what he'll do at Daytona to win. So look out for, for him dumping every person to win at Daytona. Uh, but yeah, but justice prevails. Could they appeal and be successful? They could appeal and not be successful. I mean, I don't know if there's a precedent here, but I do like that NASCAR drew a line in the sand. I didn't think they would have the backbone to do it. Like, I really didn't. But I think it's the right call. I think it's fair. I think the right call was made. And... I was hoping they would do this, but I wasn't sure if they would, because they're not the greatest at making judgment calls. But, I just don't think it's good for the sport having a guy that was 32nd in points, just wreck two guys, and get in the playoffs. Really the only correct move you can make. And I think the only people defending this are diehard number three fans. And look, I don't like Joey or Danny. I've said that in the race review Sunday night. But, it's just a dirty way to win a race like that. And also, he's also um, more tweets to go through. I'm, there's a lot of tweets to go through. Uh, Austin Neal was not 25 points in addition to not being able to use this win to earn a playoff spot. While wow, like the points really matter to Austin Neal. Um... The Austin Neal spotted Brandon... Banesh uh, suspended three races uh, for his actions, uh, telling on the radio to uh, intentionally rake Denny after uh, he raked Joey. And also I want to talk about uh, Joey Logano was fined $50,000 um, after the race, or uh, for what he did after the race on pit road, doing like half burnout, people on pit road understand that too, because you can't do that on pit road after the race. I think, I think NASCAR got everything right. I don't know. I'm, this is better than what I expected them to do. 
I intentionally rate both of them. I mean, the SMT uh, data and intentionally showed it was because of how hard he cranked it left. But I guess, it, but is that what, I guess that's maybe why they took the win away. I don't know. If it's because he wrecked both of them or just intentionally hooked Minnie, I don't know. But I think it's acceptable. Joey deserves a fine for his actions on pit road, and Austin does not deserve to be in the playoffs by blankly wrecking two cars to get in. So I think they got it right. And got it right by suspending the spotter for three races. So basically the penalties coming out of this is Austin Dillon, he keeps the win, but his automatic playoff berth is uh, revoked for both driver and the owner's championships. It, him and his team has docked 25 points, 25 owner, 25 driver points. Well, I like the points matter for him. Also, the on spotter, Brandon Banesh, spent a three race, and Joe got a fine 50000 So those are your penalties. Really a rare NASCAR sanction W. Pleasantly surprised, but glad NASCAR uh, got it right for once. And, yeah, you can say they didn't get it right, but I, I just don't think a guy that was 32nd in points heading into that race has finally has one good run for the first time in, like, two years. Breaks two people blatantly to get in the playoffs. I mean, he can keep the win, but I'm glad he's not in the playoffs. I mean, yeah, he keeps the win, but not the... It makes perfect sense. NASCAR's saying that if you play out through others to get in the playoffs, he won't get in, basically. They just need to get rid... I just hope, once and for all coming out of this, NASCAR finally gets rid of the win and you're in. That's one thing I've complained about. May not on this channel, but I've complained about it probably... Just privately. When I'm not doing videos, it's the freaking playoff uh, format. And this took a few days, but um, Alan Sawyer apologized to the fans for taking so long to make the decision. He says the total body of work from turn three to finish was considered, was considered in this penalty. He says that competitors want to understand that it basically crossed the line. I don't think they uh, addressed the pit road like incident or policy or whatever, but he was fine. Fifty K Lugano was, but. Yeah, I think all the penalties were right. I think NASCAR got it right. Kudos to Elton Sawyer for once. A rare W. But what did he get away with it if he does it right at Greer Hamlin? I'd say he probably gets away with it, to be honest. But, honestly, the Elton interview does sound like Cole Tate with the 22 and just bulldozing him. What's the driver playoffs? Everything else was the 11 contact, so... I've been critical to NASCAR's officiating, I think they got it right here. In the rule in the rule book, eligibility is like in 12.3.2.1 of eligibility in the NASCAR rule book. Race finishes must be covered by violations of NASCAR's rules or other actions detrimental to stock car auto racing or NASCAR's determined the sole discretion of NASCAR. I mean, I think they got it right. I know people will disagree just because of the two drivers that got wrecked, but you got to look at this unbiased. And I'm trying, and I'm looking at this unbiased. Because sometimes I look into things too biasedly. I'm looking at this just unbiased. But if Austin Neal does win another race, in the next three weeks he makes the playoffs, he doesn't carry any playoff points from this Richmond win. Can they appeal his decision? Well, I'll talk about it in a moment. And uh, they don't have a, anything in the rule book. There should be a win away since why they didn't. And they considered suspending him, but other right wing trucks at higher speeds and penalty shooting today was severe enough. Honestly, probably the best call. The playoff penalty certainly hurts him enough. And Joey got 550k, they are right. But Richard Childress Racing, they're appealing. RC, Richard Childress Racing. Richard Childress Racing is very disappointed in NASCAR's penalty against the number three team. We do not agree with it. Basically, they have a decision. 
and then we'll bleed to a paint. They're gonna try and give them money, probably to let them in the playoffs. Eh, they'll appeal it and lose it. And any appeal pro appeals process will get done prior to the regular season finale, darling. Eh, I don't think anything else will happen. Now it is. I mean, you can't just take what, the win away. Because there's nothing to rule but that they can. That they can do. But yeah, I think they got everything right. But it's all for saying this video. So until next time, I'll like. Peace. Leave a like. Come subscribe for more.